Okay, good evening. Um, hopefully this will all turn out right and I've got my lighting right. Um, I said recently that uh, I was working on uh, the 1957 um, German amplifier. Well, um, I was actually looking through my transformers box today and um, I'd found where I'd put obviously the originals now I, I knew where they were I hadn't found them I just put them away safely but I've just taken the masking tape off because when I actually got this amplifier these were particularly rusty and um, they didn't look too nice so I did actually uh, clean them up and um, sprayed them you know masked all of the original um, labeling um, with, with just straightforward masking tape uh, took all the cables off as you can see and sprayed them with a matte black paint and um, they've stayed in the box pretty much ever since um, they're the actual ones that are going to go back in the case of the um, of the uh, jukebox amplifier which again um, that came to me rather nasty um, it wasn't rusty per se but it was very heat damaged um, it looked like uh, something had obviously overheated in it now unfortunately with me um, cleaning it up and respraying it it covered up the original manufacturer's mark um, it did have a, a code and a serial number on it but uh, I'm not personally too worried about that because it probably won't be an original amp when I've finished anyway. Um, the Transformers will be the original 1957 objects. The chassis will be the original 1957 objects. The valve holders probably won't. And the valves, uh, well I didn't, it didn't come with any valves so that won't have any valves in it. But just to give you some idea, this is designed, um, it was designed as sort of a 30, 35 watt amplifier. And uh, this will give you some idea of how large these transformers are. Um, they're about uh, 10 centimeters, uh, 100 mil square. And they're both identical size, as you can see, just, just, over, a, well, just over 100 mil. Uh, and about 75 mil in depth from uh, from the back side to the front um, that's uh, not not counting any extra wiring so yeah if you give it if you're going to be realistic you'd give it 80 mil as a clearance so they are not small transformers and each one of these has got away nearly two two and a half kilos uh, there is a lot of vintage iron in those so that's the story with these two transformers. Now I'm going to put them away. Uh, let's just take them off the bench and uh, put them there. And now we come to this item. Um, I did say I was going to build a linear power supply and um, this is what I was going to do with, uh, what I was going to do it with. Um, I did look uh, through my box and I've got some Diddy transformers that would give me you know, maybe an amp at you know, 15 volts or something like that if I was lucky, but um, I wanted a rather large transformer for a rather large power supply because I don't, you know, I'm fed up with small power supplies that uh, you run close to their limits when you put certain loads on them. So. Uh, I was given this by a very good friend of mine and um, I believe it's been designed to military specs for use in well for use in actually military equipment but I don't know what the offload output voltage is so I was thinking how, how on earth could I test that without uh, without doing anything silly um, so I thought well there's no way I can test it without doing anything silly so uh, what I was going to do is I was going to um, connect it up um, to the Variac but not to the Variac if you know what I mean I was actually going to put it straight across the input of the Variac um, which I'm just unwrapping now I haven't plugged in yet uh, let's put the uh, 
put it in the safety connector first. Uh, I say safety connector, it is actually an RCD trip. So that uh, should anything go drastically wrong, um, I won't fly across the room too rapidly. Um, I want to put this on volts AC. Now, as you can see, these are not thin wires. Um, so I'm expecting it to be capable of um, a little bit more than a couple of amps. So that's, that's across there. Won't worry about the earth. Who needs an earth? We're only going to wire it up and uh, plug it in. Um, let me just uh, split these off. I really shouldn't use my uh, cutters in this way, but um, ah, what the hell, it's 20 to 4 in the morning. I think I'm allowed to. So, um, so I'll do that and I'll move those across from each other. Strip them off. One, two. Uh, now I have checked. There we go. So you can see me twisting the wires. I have checked. This is actually a multi voltage switch, and if you take this plate off, depending on which way round you have it, you can actually change the voltage. Um, maybe I'll just take that off quickly so that you can see. Um, let's just unplug that, undo that one, and undo that one. There we go. As you say, you've got a choice of 120, 220, 110, 240. So if you put it that way around, and you wanted 110 volts, you would have to flick the switch there to match the 120 volt setting. If you wanted 110 volts, you would put that one down, like so. Um, it's a very, very simple and effective system let me just see if it, I'm hoping that's focusing on there and you can see it let me get it closer uh, if I can get the focus in yep there you go so that's at 110 if I want 240 volts I need to go down and up and I would be uh, there we go that's focused in on that I believe I would have to go to that setting there which is where I'm gonna leave it so let's just bring the focus back to the trafo on the bench. And um, this is a lovely big toroid. Um, it weighs in the region of about four or five kilos. It's, it's uh, not a small beast. Um, again, if I just stick the ruler across it, yeah, there you go, 150 mil across, and it stands. It, it is on a stand, but it stands. Uh, what's that? Mm, about 75 mil off the ground. So, uh, yeah, it's it's uh, quite large. So anyway, let's just screw those back up again so that I don't make my own mistakes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my crocodile clip leads yeah I know this is all perfectly safe honest governor um, and uh, do I do it in the variax properly and restrict myself yeah I suppose I better um, again I haven't tested it so uh, it might be a good idea and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect live and neutral remembering that this is AC and the only thing between this and the domestic wiring is uh, is an RCD. So um, can we see the meter? Let's put the meter back on the bench properly. Let's connect these up. I do have some crocodile clips for this somewhere. Um, I do have some crocodile clip leads actually. Let's see if I can find them. Um, one, two, yeah, there they are. Uh, that's the thing when you have all these different uh, meters and leads and things like that. So, oh, sorry, I've knocked the uh, not the microphone. So let's take them out. Let's put the common one in there. That one in there. 
move those standard pointy ones away. Let's clip that to there and that to there. So, um, right, the Variac is set to zero volts. Um, do I have another voltmeter that I can connect across this? Um, possibly. Um, possibly not. Not to hand anywhere at this time of the morning. So um, let's just make sure the output of that isn't shorted at all. No, right, okay. So in we go with the Variac, and um, at the moment it's reading zero, but as I bring it up, um, I'm only bringing this up, uh, right, at 220 volts, there's 24 volts, so at the 240 volts, I'm getting there, um, 26 and a half volts AC. So, yeah, um, I think that's perfectly reasonable. So, 26 volts, transformer that size, 20, 30 amps maybe. I think that'll be a reasonable variable power supply. Um, yeah, I think we're going to have fun with that. Thanks very much for watching my little Transformers video, and um, we'll see you all soon. Thanks very much. as he turns off the power supply and fades to black.